Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Dog Special. Today we will talk about Saluki. She is Nir, our special guest. Today's photos and videos are thanks to Nir underscore Saluki. Saluki, commonly known as the Persian Greyhound, is one of the oldest breeds and the oldest of the sighthounds. In fact, a Saluki skull was found in an archaeological site in the Mesopotamian city of Tip Gora, northern Iraq, dating back, at least, to the year 3500 before Christ. Sighthounds, also called gazehounds, are a type of dog, hounds that hunt primarily by sight and speed, rather than by scent and endurance as scent hounds do. Saluki is graphically described in Egyptian tombs dating from at least 2100 before Christ. Many of the early stone inscriptions depict King Tutankhamun with his pair of Seleucus, and it is estimated that their bodies were often mummified just like the pharaoh's bodies. It is a hunting dog of the desert, it was bred by the Bedouins for thousands of years, being perhaps the oldest known breed of domesticated dog. This breed is also known as gazelle hunter for its preferred prey. It is believed that the name comes from Saluk or Salukia, two ancient cities of Arabia. The general appearance of the Saluki is one of grace and symmetry. Its head is long, thin and narrow. The skull being wider than the muzzle. They have long, hanging ears covered in a coat of long, silky fur. They have large almond-shaped eyes that range from dark to hazel-colored, without being prominent. Their jaws are strong. Its neck is long. The chest is deep, moderately wide. Their body is square, since although they appear to be longer than they are tall, the length of the body, measured from the point of the shoulder to the point of the buttock, is approximately equal to the height at the withers. They are thin, with well-defined bones and muscles. Oblique back and slightly arched loin. The breed's tail is long and curved, set low. Females are slightly smaller than males. The coat comes in a variety of colors such as white, cream, beige, red, grayish, tan, black, and tricolor, white, black, and tan. There are two types of coat, smooth and feathered, the latter variety having fringes on the back of the legs and thighs. In both types, the coat is silky and low shed, compared to other breeds. The breed's normal size ranges between 23 and 28 inches in height at the withers, and they weigh between 40 and 70 pounds. They have a life expectancy of between 12 and 14 years. And, the activity level required is high. Seleucus so curl up like a feline when sleeping. For this reason, it is important to provide him with cushioned beds, as it does not have enough body fat to provide protection. They are fussy about their hygiene. Many Seleucus owners often put a hairnet on them to keep their ears off the food plate. They will need weekly or at least fortnightly brushings to remove dead hair and to help distribute its natural oils. We will bathe them when they are dirty, not being necessary to do it with a pre-stipulated periodicity. Seleucus are admired for their exotic appearance, but not everyone is qualified to live with this energetic and independent hunter. Any movement, be it a squirrel, a cat, or a remote-controlled car, will activate the Saluki's chasing instinct. This is why they are not suitable, at all, for an apartment, or if they will stay home alone all day. 
These dogs need space to roam, preferably in a backyard with a high fence. If your backyard is not that large, you should have easy access to a fenced park, some kind of sports fields, or beach without a path nearby. It is important to note that they need daily walks. Getting into the habit of going out together, for example jogging, will not only keep you both physically and mentally fit, but also will strengthen the bond. Keep your Saluki on leash whenever it is not in an enclosed area. As we pointed out in many videos, it is important that they get used to being brushed and examined from puppies. Dogs tend to be sensitive to their paws, so handling them frequently, examining their mouths and ears, will make future veterinary examinations and other handling considerably easier. Beautiful but reserved, Saluki is affectionate without being overly demonstrative. Happy to show their loyalty through quiet company. Generally calm but alert, it makes a good watchdog. They are brave in hunting, but they are not aggressive. Saluka should not reside in homes with small pets. Even with the best training, they will see them as prey and will try to hunt them down. While they prefer the company of other Salukas, they can get along well with other dogs, as long as they do not have a dominant nature. Although they are not the most recommended for homes with young children, they can be excellent companions for older children. Experience in training and caring for dogs is needed. While Salukas are smart and fast learners, they are also independent and can be stubborn, making training challenging. Salukas think for themselves, and if there is something more interesting than what you are proposing, they will be perfectly happy to ignore you. In order to gain their attention, the best would be to keep your training sessions short, fun, and engaging. As we emphasize in all of our videos, never resort to harsh verbal or physical corrections, instead use positive reinforcement techniques such as rewards and praise, which will have better results 100% of the time. Very good results are also achieved when practicing clicker training. The quiet and gentle Saluki can become shy without early socialization and regular reinforcement through new experiences and introductions to different people throughout his life. Well-trained, they are good competitors in agility and decoy racing. Some Salukas also participate in obedience and tracking. While Greyhound is recognized in the world for being the fastest breed to travel distances of around 800 meters, Saluki obtained a Guinness record as the fastest dog in the world, reaching a speed of 42.75 miles per hour in distances greater than 800 meters. Salukas are in general a very healthy breed of dog. They do not suffer from many genetically inherited diseases. But the following issues can be observed sensitivity to anesthesia due to its low level of body fat saluki has a reputation for being sensitive to anesthesia and other drugs hemangiosarcoma this is a malignant cancer found in the lining of the blood vessels and spleen cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle which occurs in two ways Dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM, which consists of the progressive enlargement of the ventricles, that is, the main pumping chambers of the heart. And, on the other hand, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which causes a drastic increase in the mass of the heart muscle. Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is an abnormally low level of the hormone produced by the thyroid gland. A sign of the disease can be infertility. The most obvious signs include obesity, mental dullness, droopy eyelids, low energy levels, and irregular heat cycles. The dog's coat becomes rough and brittle and begins to shed. Finally, as we repeat in all our videos, we must adopt habits that must be followed with any pet. Like visiting the vet every six months, 
constantly follow his vaccination schedule and deworm him on a regular basis. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.